Right, well, this is kind of superfluous, but here we are, Ignite Denver. Okay, all right, covered that. Oh, hey, all right, this, this is the first slide of my spark, which if you don't know what a spark is, I'll explain more about this. But I'm actually going to spark for you right now. Uh, what I do is a little intro. I talk about the spark. I talk about Ignite, typically. But right now, I'm going to just share with you that tonight is a full moon. It is, right, Friday to the 13th. So if you want to kick open the doors of debauchery later on, go ahead. You deserve it. You have come here and been enlightened. America doesn't ask much of its citizenry. But you are taking a step up. You are transcending. And so if you want to pour Mountain Dew on your Fruit Loops and party like Honey Boo Boo on a Sunday morning, you can. You've earned it. And this right here is, is a spark. This is what I'm doing right now. This is what your friends and your family who are doing this tonight, this is what they're going to do. It's just 20 slides that automatically advance. 15 seconds a slide adds up to five minutes. It's great news if, like, if you're not liking what you see. It's over in five minutes. Some of you chuckle at what could be a sex joke. but it's never, not five, never, never five minutes. That's crazy long. Uh, we tell people to be themselves. We tell people to screw perfection. To hell with it. What is perfection anyway? It sounds sucky. We're better than, you're better than perfection. We make mistakes, and even better yet, we cuss. Sometimes. Sometimes. That could happen. Sometimes it's totally gratuitous. Other times it's woven into the narrative of someone's spark. But it can happen. I just like the word of family with the world's smartest kid. Uh, and even more egregious than cussing, though, is shilling. I don't think you're going to see that tonight. We pretty much hammered into the presenters. You know, you can mention the book you wrote or the business you started, or, you know, to, to establish credibility. But otherwise, if people do shill, they get heckled. Otherwise, in general, we just ask people to be nice. Um, because you don't know what they're going through. Like me, myself here, I'm going through a bit of a malaise because my favorite social media platform doesn't like my baby. Now, yeah, I know. Facebook, I post a picture of the baby. Everybody goes crazy. Twitter, one favorite. <laughs> what? what? And I've been experimenting this, with, with this. I went ahead and posted this picture. Right, you like her now. Twitter, Adi. 111 likes, what? Am I a royalty? 19 comments, two shares, what? I, it's so adorable. This, and this is not a ruse it's to show pictures of my kids. And then I put the same thing on Twitter, and I'm forceful. You'd think they'd be like, whoa, what is it? I favorited this. <laughs> so, come on. Now, some of you may be like, what are the stats? Okay, look at Facebook, Twitter. I got the same amount of followers pretty much, and friends are pretty much the same people. Although on Twitter, I have one porn star who follows me. Thank you. I've truly made it. I'm going to drop the mic. I'm done. But, and actually, I found out after some research, I found out she's pregnant, so she could come around. So... I, I tried, I got tricky with pictures. You know, look at this, not just one picture, but a whole range of emotions and two favorites. Meanwhile, Facebook, which I think they're just blindly liking things, you know. The, like, like on Facebook is like the new pretending to listen, you know. It's like, <laughs> I, I put in the gratuitous phrase, topless chick. Facebook was like, yeah. <laughs> Twitter was like, nah. Maybe if I use the hashtag, yes, all women, I don't know. I tried my other kids, a picture of my son jumping. Facebook was like, jumping! Twitter was like, eh. I used a popular meme in Honey Badger. I tried to get educational. I was like, you know, maybe if they don't like my babies, they'll like me not having any more babies. I got two retweets, so there's that. Now, I know what you're thinking, like, Facebook is not exactly a hotbed of intellectualism. You know, you have not come away from Facebook thinking, like, your brain just grew three sizes that day. But listen, Twitter people, you cannot get cocky because it is not exactly the, the zenith of innovation and excellence. 110,000 retweets. And if you missed this Kim Kardashian wedding, it's okay. You could just go or see the next one. But still, more popular than my baby. 
So, do not walk into that deep end of posting unloved babies on Twitter. We request that you post about tonight. Ignite Denver 17 and use this hashtag. Of course, you can do that on Facebook as well. They'll go crazy for anything. And share that with your friends and your followers and let them know where you are and what you're doing and let the, the world know how your friend or family's doing who is up here tonight. So who's ready for Ignite Denver 17? <laughs> <laughs>